I don't feel like there is a consistent conversation in which Black women get to be the authors of their narrative. And I think it's really important that we write ourselves in. And so I'm looking for ways to write myself in as an adult Black woman for the things that I did not see for myself as a young Black girl. Welcome to another episode of Black Arts Speak. I'm Dr. Tanisha Jackson, Executive Director of the Community Folk Arts Center. I'll be speaking with Atlanta-based artist Shaniqua Gay, whose exhibition, Carry the Weight, covers Atlanta Black aesthetics and cultural memory through mixed media. My name is Shaniqua Gay. I am originally from Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm a multimedia artist by trade. I'm the child that probably came out my mother's womb with a paintbrush. <laughs> uh, my mother will say that I've always been a creative. You know, pursuing my passion was not necessarily something I immediately went into as a young adult, solely because while it wasn't my intermediate family, my mother and father, it was other family members, it was other people connected to my family telling me that we don't want starving artists. And so pursuing my passion and pursuing my path that was something that was really encouraged by a friend of mine who kind of set me down and was like, you really need to be pursuing the gift that God has given you um, and not playing with it. Um, you know, one of the things she was just like, uh, uh, someone else is missing out on who they are because you're not pursuing who you're supposed to be. And so that kind of made me feel accountable and feeling like my life's passion was connected to someone else. Hybridity is something I've been kind of playing with, ooh, probably over the course of the past seven or eight years now. I began to create these imagined figures called the devouts, and they all kind of house these characteristics of women in my family. Women that I felt like were stout, gouty, uh, swarthy, strong, and powerful figures, right? And wanted to relay that through maybe the calf, through the bull, through the deer, through a vulture, turning them sometimes into these large sculptural figures where they're standing 12 feet tall and very imposing. I see the Black woman as an imposing figure and as something divine and as a being that should be celebrated. And so I'm looking for ways to speak to her in that way. A couple of things that you'll see kind of oscillate in and out of my body of work will be zebra. Uh, one of the things that I love about zebra, just in researching about them is that zebra will not fall asleep unless another is standing next to them. And I felt like um, from a community standpoint, that is such a powerful notion of village thinking, um, that I will not fall asleep unless I am present for my brother, for my sister. Then also, I'm very interested in turning a negative into a positive, um, especially where black tropes are concerned. So things like watermelon, <laughs> or even the, the ideal of, of monstrosity, bestiality, um, uh, turning these things into languages of power. And then when I'm looking at traditional master paintings, such as William Bulgaru, who's very still steeped into mythology, you have these massive paintings about mythological narratives, but I've never seen a black centaur, or at least not repeatedly, never seen a black fawn. And so I have these questions like, what does our Narnia look like? Right? What does our never ending story look like? What, what is our continuation from the Wiz? And so I'm interested in creating these kind of narratives of social issues that also collapse with uh, the language of black imagination. Exhibiting at CFAC is honorable. <laughs> And it humbles me to be able to be uh, in a space that is specifically for my cultural language, for the diaspora. I'm speaking for the village. And when I say the village, I mean for Black people. And to speak in a space that honors that, it just makes me feel like my work is necessary and that there's a space that welcomes it. I don't know that I am looking for my work to necessarily have impact. Um, 
as much as I want people to come into large open spaces, be present with my work, uh, and hopefully to see themselves. Wellness for Black women to me means I see you. And uh, that's the highest love is to be able to tell someone that you see them. And I think in a nation where a lot of times Black women are seen as second tier <laughs> to others, um, using language that says uh, that I center you and that you are the most important person in this narrative. I think it's important to continually uh, put us in a space where our stories matter and they're the most important, not just to us, but they are part of the fabric of this nation. Yeah. The exhibit opens February 1st and runs through March 21st. Visit us at the Community Folk Arts Center at 805 East Genesee Street in Syracuse, New York.